Hi there. I am Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. Good day to you. And I do hope that you are having a good day. Working on a little bit of light here. Okay, let there be light. So there is a lot going on in the world and I wanna share a couple of things. Uh, <laughs> Uh, first of all, this be in joy statement is from a dear friend of mine that I will um, keep his, his message alive by using it. And that is my uh, ode to John Springer, dear friend of mine for many years. Um, and he used the phrase be in joy. And, you know, when life is a piece of shit, <laughs> and things are falling apart around our, our, our head, our shoulders, our, our world, it may be hard to think of, well, how can I be in joy? How can I be happy when all this is happening? Well, we always have a choice. We could choose to focus on the ex-husband, the mom, the dad, the teacher that, that did us uh, harm in the past, or we could choose to redirect. So that's number one, choose what you focus on. Because as a sovereign being, we always have choice. Just because certain people are saying certain things to us, that does not mean that is the way. We always have a choice. And, and so recognizing we are sovereign beings is, is part of that. And when we start to live in joy and live in a state of love and know that beauty is all around us and we are creating our world, each of us contributes to the world that we will have tomorrow by the thoughts we think today. So choose to raise your vibration. Choose to focus on the good. Choose to focus on health, wellness, love, joy, beauty, choose to hug your child, hug your cat, be out in nature, eat healthy foods, make good choices, choose the people that you associate with. And I have a couple of stories to share with you about choice. Now, <laughs> just last night, I was with my son who had a friend come from Georgia to visit and Alex is, is riding in a 100-mile bike race this weekend in Vail, and it's, it's a lot more bike riding than I wanted to. But, you know, my hat's off to Alex for doing and choosing to live in joy. He's had lots of sad stuff happen. He's choosing to live in joy. Okay, so after I left these beautiful two men, I had to go to the grocery store and it was like t almost 10 o'clock at night, maybe 9.30. And so I was headed to the cheaper store, which is a division of Kroger, King Supers. And as I passed Sprouts, my guide said to me, you should go to Sprouts. And I said, yes, but Sprouts is back there. I've already passed it. I'm almost to King Supers. You should go to Sprouts. So what did I do? Did I stubbornly go to King Supers because I know that I'll spend less money there? No, I chose to listen because my guidance is never wrong. It's always accurate. My guides always give me the best path, the fastest way to success, the fastest path to joy. And what did I do? I turned around, I doubled back, and I went to Sprouts. And let me tell you, <laughs> hi Jackie. Jackie had, had mentioned to me just a day or so ago, um, something about multivitamins. I said, I'm out. She says, you need B vitamins. And I agree, I need B vitamins. So the first aisle I went down happened to be where all the B vitamins were. And so I'm looking at the shelf and I'm going across there's so many to choose from, which shall I buy? And then I saw one, $20 off. I went, oh my God, this has got to be a mistake. I looked at the price, 
$2.69, $2.69, $20 off. When does that happen? Well, I've got news for you. It happened for me because I listened and I got this $23, 20, almost $24 bottle of vitamins for, and I can prove it with my receipt. Can you see it? $2.69, $20 off. So let me tell you, the universe will give you deals. If you tap into your divine guidance, if you, if you listen, and this is part of what I teach my clients. I teach my clients how to quiet the mind. And it used to be crazy in there, I'll tell you. I used to have a lot of voices in my head. I literally felt batshit crazy for many years. And so that's what I help my clients do quiet the mind, listen to the guidance, and voila, life becomes magical when we step into our highest truth, when we listen to what we are given instead of stubbornly argue, I know better than God, I know better than the universe. I used to do that. And let me tell you, every time I argued, Every time I argued with God, every time I argued with the universe, guess who lost? Me! My face was in the dirt more times than I care to admit, but I will tell you this, that through the process of me stubbornly arguing and them showing me every single time, the universe wants the best for us. So do you think that all this stuff that's going on in the world is going to stay? No! But how do we get there? Well, we have to stay in joy. Like John Springer says, be in joy. What's your joy today? What do you choose to focus on? Well, I choose to focus on $20 off. My guides are always loving me. My guides always support me. The world is a beautiful place when we choose to focus on the beauty. Yes, there's dark, there's light, there's good, there's bad. What do you focus on? What do you watch on television? I don't watch TV. I watch <laughs> on my computer. I watch joy. I watch things that make me laugh. I sing with the Beatles. I sing with Rod Stewart. I, you know, I'm not going to quit my day job, but I will tell you, I focus on the things that bring me the greatest joy. I put on clothes that I love that make me feel good. Feeling is believing. And you know, I have a free webinar that will, yes, it teaches manifestation, but it also teaches you how to live in joy because I am a complex being. So when I teach manifestation, I am bringing all that I am into this training. I'm teaching you how to listen to your intuition, how to quiet the mind, how to get what you want. The universe wants the best for each of us, for you. The universe loves you. There's nothing for you to do. There's nothing for you to change. You're already loved. And the sooner that we are able to accept that, we're loved. There Oh, I don't need a man to love me. I, I don't need my mother to love me. I don't need, uh, wow, I could have had a V8. <laughs> the universe loves you. The universe wants the best for you. And that's why the guidance we receive from the universe is always accurate, always spot on, always guiding you to the next best step, the next best thing, the next best person that can support or help or lift you. And if you're not on my newsletter, I just sent a newsletter out about how to live in joy. And I'm doing a free, free webinar, free call next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Mountain, 5 p.m. Pacific. It is free. And I apologize for those of you in India that it is probably in the middle of your night, I think, maybe. <laughs> but um, this will lift you. It will help you to live in joy so that we can co-create the world of our dreams by focusing on the direction we want to go as opposed to the stuff that's 
doesn't feel good, the stuff that makes you angry, the stuff that makes you really want to punch somebody, don't punch anybody. Instead, turn your focus around what do you, what do you want? What brings you joy? How do you feel good? Because when we raise our vibration into a state of joy, it's amazing how easy life becomes when we are in joy. Have you ever noticed that when we complain, when we bitch, when we moan, when we groan about all the bad things that are happening, oh my goodness, my landlord did this and my neighbor said this, complaining is a low vibration spiraling you down and shrinking your hippocampus, the part of the brain that also creates Alzheimer's. So we don't want our hippocampus to shrink we want to expand. And so Einstein said, your imagination is greater than your intelligence. So envision a world filled with health and joy and freedom and sovereign beings. Envision a world where we sing Kumbaya, we hold hands together, we dance in the moonlight naked. Well, maybe not naked, but think of the things that make you laugh. Think of the people, George Carlin, Kayvon, who of the comedians make you laugh? Who raises your vibration? Be around and surround yourself with those things that lift you as opposed to focusing on those that don't. Put them, put them on mute, turn them off, <laughs> block them, stay away from them. Stay with the people that float you, that lift you. I ha had a friend who, who said, is that friend an anchor or a sail? The sail makes you go in the direction you're headed. It, it, it uses the wind to, um, to move the boat, right? Where the anchor will pull you down. So be with people, do the things that lift you rather than anchor you down. Joy is a choice. I choose to live my day and my life in joy. No matter what's going on with everyone else, I am in joy. Where are you? I would love to hear from you. Where are you residing today? What do you need help with? What do you choose for you for today and tomorrow and the world? What are you going to create? Are you going to meditate? Are you going to pray? God, thank you for this beauty. Thank you for this beautiful world. Praying and gratitude raises your vibration. No begging. No begging. <laughs> we don't want to go there. Okay, so lifting up joy, laughter, humor, meditation, gratitude. Those are the things we want to focus on. The good not the bad and the ugly. Put that aside and put it on mute and watch how everybody around you will be lifted by your vibration, by your thoughts, by your focus. You will help to change this world into a better place, a happier, more joyful place for tomorrow, for my grandson, for your offspring, for your grandchildren. Focus on joy. Be in joy, like John Springer says and love you. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I do have a free webinar. And don't forget, there's only a few spaces for this call on Wednesday. It is free. There's only a limited number of spaces. So uh, sign up quickly. If you're not on my newsletter, get there, jenniferelizabethmasters.com. And you get my free download for anxiety on my website. And you'll be automatically included in my newsletter, sending you mwah, a joyful hug and kiss today, be in joy.